The M-Pox disease. What is M-Pox? M-Pox, once known as monkeypox, is a viral disease that has lurked in the shadows for decades, primarily affecting remote regions in Central and West Africa. But what exactly is it? Imagine a virus that, much like smallpox, spreads from animals to humans, causing a range of symptoms from fever and fatigue to painful rashes that can cover the body. Though similar to smallpox, M-Pox is generally less severe, but it carries with it the potential for serious illness, particularly in children and those with weakened immune systems. In recent months, M-Pox has surged back into the spotlight, triggering a global health alert. What started as isolated cases in the Democratic Republic of the Congo has now spread to multiple countries, leading the World Health Organization to declare it a public health emergency of international concern. This resurgence is a pressing issue because the current strain is deadlier and spreading faster than previous outbreaks, challenging global health systems and demanding urgent attention. Mpox is a zoonotic disease, which means it's a virus transmitted from animals to humans. The origins of Mpox are deeply rooted in the dense rainforests of Central and West Africa, where the virus was first identified in monkeys, hence its former name, monkeypox. However, it's not just monkeys that harbor this virus. Rodents, such as Gambian pouch rats and squirrels, are believed to be the primary carriers, silently acting as reservoirs for the disease. The story of Mpox began in 1958, when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research, leading to its initial identification. It wasn't until 1970, however, that the first human case was recorded in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The patient was a young boy, and his case marked the beginning of our understanding of Mpox as a human disease. Human cases began appearing after direct contact with infected animals, particularly through hunting, handling, or consuming bushmeat. The virus then started to spread from person to person, especially in rural communities with close human-animal interactions. The virus can spread in several ways, direct contact with the skin lesions, bodily fluids, or respiratory droplets of an infected person is the most common transmission method. This can occur through close physical contact, such as touching or kissing, or through prolonged face-to-face -face interactions. Mpox can also spread via contaminated objects, such as bedding, clothing, or utensils that have been in contact with the virus. The virus can also be transmitted through respiratory droplets during prolonged exposure, particularly in crowded or enclosed spaces. In recent outbreaks, sexual transmission has also been identified as a significant route, particularly among men who have sex with men, contributing to the rapid spread of the virus in certain communities. Over the years, Mpox has sporadically appeared in rural parts of Africa, with occasional outbreaks reminding the world of its persistent presence. But until recently, these outbreaks were limited and largely overshadowed by other global health concerns. Today, however, Mpox has re-emerged with a force that is impossible to ignore, challenging global health systems and demanding our urgent attention. Mpox symptoms can range from mild to severe, depending on the individual's health and exposure. The most common symptoms begin with fever, often accompanied by chills and intense headaches. As the fever progresses, patients may experience muscle aches, back pain, and profound fatigue, making even simple tasks feel overwhelming. Swollen lymph nodes are a hallmark of Mpox, differentiating it from similar illnesses like chickenpox or smallpox. Within a few days, a rash typically appears, starting on the face before spreading to other parts of the body. This rash goes through several stages, beginning as flat lesions that eventually become raised, filled with clear fluid, and then pus. These lesions can be extremely painful and may leave scars as they heal. For most people, these symptoms last between two to four weeks and resolve with supportive care. However, in vulnerable populations, such as children, pregnant women, and those with compromised immune systems, the disease can be much more severe. In these groups, the virus can cause complications like secondary bacterial infections, respiratory distress, or even encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain that can be life-threatening. On top of that, severe dehydration from vomiting or diarrhea, which sometimes accompanies Mpox and can also pose significant risks. Understanding these symptoms and their potential severity underscores the importance of early detection and treatment, especially in at-risk populations, to prevent the worst outcomes. The current Mpox outbreak has spread alarmingly across multiple regions, with Africa at its epicenter. Originally confined to Central and West Africa, the virus has now expanded its reach, particularly into East Africa, where countries like Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda are grappling with their first ever recorded cases. This spread is deeply concerning because it signals a broader geographic expansion, with the virus moving beyond its traditional boundaries. In terms of statistics, the numbers paint a troubling picture. As of August 2024, the World Health Organization WHO, reported over 900 new cases globally in just one month, with the majority concentrated in Africa. 
The Democratic Republic of the Congo alone accounted for a staggering 96% of these cases within the African region, highlighting how severely this country has been affected. In total, over 500 fatalities have been recorded, driven by a particularly virulent strain of the virus, Clade 1b, which has a higher mortality rate compared to the less deadly clades seen in previous outbreaks. The impact on vulnerable populations has been devastating. Children, for instance, are especially at risk, with many cases resulting in severe complications or death. This is particularly true in regions where healthcare access is limited, leaving children without the necessary medical support to combat the virus. Similarly, individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those living with HIV, face a much higher risk of severe disease. For these populations, MPOS can lead to complications like encephalitis, which can be fatal if not treated promptly. Specific communities, such as those involved in the healthcare sector, have also been disproportionately affected. Healthcare workers on the front line are at a high risk of exposure, especially in areas where protective equipment is scarce. At this point, it's clear that this is more than just a health crisis, it's a humanitarian one, deeply affecting the most vulnerable and highlighting the urgent need for global solidarity and swift action to bring it under control. As the MPOX outbreak continues to escalate, global health organizations have responded with urgency and coordinated efforts. The World Health Organization WHO, was quick to recognize the severity of the situation, declaring the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern in August 2024. This declaration is a critical step in mobilizing international resources and attention, signaling the need for a united global response to prevent further spread and mitigate the impact of the virus. In a collaborative effort with the WHO, the Centers for Disease and Prevention CDC, has ramped up efforts to monitor and contain the outbreak. The CDC is working closely with affected countries, providing support in the form of expertise, resources, and rapid response teams. They have also issued comprehensive guidelines for clinicians, public health departments, and the general public to enhance awareness and preparedness. Preventative measures are at the forefront of the global response, with vaccination being a primary tool. The WHO and CDC have recommended the use of the MVA-BN Genios vaccine, which has been shown to provide robust protection against MPOX. Vaccination campaigns are being prioritized for high-risk groups, including healthcare workers, men who have sex with men, and individuals in regions with active outbreaks. These efforts are crucial in curbing the spread of the virus and protecting vulnerable populations. Beyond vaccination, hygiene practices and public health recommendations play a vital role in prevention. The WHO advises strict adherence to hand hygiene, the use of personal protective equipment PPE, in healthcare settings, and safe sexual practices to reduce the risk of transmission. Public health campaigns are also focused on educating communities about the symptoms of MPOX and the importance of early detection and isolation of cases. Despite these efforts, several challenges continue to hinder the control of the outbreak. One of the most significant obstacles is the limited access to healthcare in many of the affected regions, particularly in parts of Africa. In these areas, the lack of testing facilities and medical supplies makes it difficult to diagnose and treat cases promptly, leading to higher transmission rates and fatalities. Moreover, logistical issues such as the distribution of vaccines to remote or conflict-affected areas further complicate containment efforts. The stigma associated with the disease, especially within specific communities, can discourage people from seeking timely medical help, exacerbating the spread. Addressing these challenges requires not only medical interventions, but also robust public health strategies that include community engagement, education, and the dismantling of misinformation surrounding the virus. So, while the global response to the MPOX outbreak has been swift and multifaceted, overcoming these challenges will be crucial to effectively controlling the virus and preventing future outbreaks. The collaboration between international health organizations, governments, and local communities will be key to navigating this public health crisis.